What's up guys, Jason Gerber coming at you with another YouTube video today. Different setting, it's super nice sun out right now before sunset, so I decided to just do this quick unboxing. Outdoors, got this package from bareknuckles.com. We got these raw salvage, Japanese salvage indigo denim. Uh, first pair of Japanese salvage, and I'm so happy because that they're raw indigo. Um, if you don't know what indigo is, it's uh, the color that makes your jeans, the color of this shirt that I dyed. So this right here actually is Japanese indigo. Uh, mine's a little unhealthy right now. We've been getting a lot of crazy sun out here, but the indigo pigment actually comes from the leaves of this plant. Also a shout out to my friend Ethan Duke photo for the bag. I made a video on this, go check it out. But yeah, right here we got this package from bareknuckles.com. Let's just go straight into it. Uh, this is a pair of pants, as I said. I got these in a size 30 because I was actually late to the launch and it's the only thing I can get. I'm actually like a 30, 32, so I'm hoping these fit. If not, and you're watching this video, if you want a size swap for a 32, please hit me up. I'll also list these on Grailed if they don't fit me. Um, I'm trying to get a different size, you know, but I'm really hoping they fit. Packing slip. Yeah, here we go. Oh my God. It's looking, it's looking pretty clean, guys. Bare knuckles got that nice tan leather bare knuckles tab. A little different, not that black and red tab. I just said size 30, and they actually have little labels now to like organize their bags. Pretty cool. So we got 14 ounce salvage. Denim, size 30, this is color raw indigo. And basically raw indigo just means it was dyed and hasn't gone through like the full washing process. So these are gonna shrink a little bit after you wash them for the first time. So that's another reason why I'm not sure if they're gonna fully fit me. So if they're like kind of tight now, that means they probably won't fit me. So I'll try them on and show you guys. But yeah, just get straight into this. I also appreciate the bags, they always send their products in. Hmm. Smells. Smells pretty good. But yeah, here we go with the denim. There's that bare knuckles tab I was talking about. Really nice. Well, they're actually really smooth. Actually, this is, this is more like a really fine new buck. Not quite leather, but still really nice. And the quality on the denim itself feels really nice it's a very heavy weight as I said 14 ounce denim a quick close-up let's unfold these and upon first looks this 30 actually looks pretty big for a 30 as you can see they're like not fully high-waisted, but higher than normal. And I'm actually being hopeful that these are gonna fit me. Quick look at the butt. The infamous bare knuckles cotton tag. But yeah, I never had denim feel this sturdy and high quality. It's really nice. And they have gotten rid of um, that custom bare knuckles hardware. If you don't know what I'm talking about, link right here with my denim jacket, how to replace the hardware. We got a size tag on the inside, size 30. This is 100% uh, cotton in the body of the jeans. Japanese salvage denim pocketing is 30 or 97% cotton and 3% polyester. We got Mr. Goldberg in the house. The zipper feels really nice. It's kind of small, but it's a you can zipper. I probably can't get that on camera, but the brand is like U C A N, not a YKK, but pretty pretty high quality here's the pants inside out so this is the front as you can see pretty long pockets here's a quick look and then the other side you got a better look at that tag and you can see along the, the outer sides of each pant leg you got that iconic salvage denim strip and if you don't know what this what the salvage means with Japanese denim or Japanese salvage denim. Basically, when you're weaving cloth on a loom, like you have a 
loom like this and the cloth that's going here. You have the vertical strings, which is what the loom has, and then you're weaving in the horizontal strings. And the salvage is basically the edge of the cloth on the right and left side. And Japanese uh, salvage denim is known to have that like super, super tight weave durable denim. So that's just kind of like a feature that they like to show. Also just looking at these pants uh, inside out, like looking at the technical, technical underside of the cloth, I actually am able to tell that this cloth was woven by hand instead of a machine because there's like, it's hard for me to explain, but there's parts where the horizontal string ended and they had to put a new one in and put a little knot. So that's what the, those little marks are right there. So you can tell good quality denim right here. So I'm gonna go put these on and see if they fit. Okay guys, so I'm back, currently wearing the pants, and try to show you how these fit with um, a food coma dispenser in the background. Um, <laughs> but uh, here are the pants, size 30. Um, they look like they fit me like perfectly basically, but I'd say in the hips pocket area, um, and kind of like thighs. It is a little tight when just like trying to sit and put things in the pockets. I'm not 100% sure how much they're gonna shrink once I wash them. Part of me is like conflicted because I could try to sell them brand new, ungrailed, or try to size swap, but I really don't know how they're gonna fit once I wash them. So what I think I'm gonna do is just try wearing them like every day for like a week or so, see how it like breaks in because the material is really stiff. And by the way, I am 5'9", 150 pounds or so, but here's just a closer look on how they fit. There's a dog right there. Is that that's a cat? There's a cat? Oh, there's stray cats everywhere also. <laughs> we also have frogs in the lawn sometimes. It's okay, I got frogs in my pool. It's like Jumanji in here. Yeah, um, I get frogs in my pool. Anyways guys, it's gotta wrap up yeah, this video for now. Cat. Um come back. I don't know where my Thank you for watching. I hope I can get this oh. video up quick because my Mac died, the Final Cut Pro, so I'm trying to figure that out. Shout out to Bare Knuckles. I'm gonna try to see if these pants work. If not, follow me on Grailed, because they can be yours. Follow Spencer on Instagram. <laughs> sure, do your thing. And then follow me. I'm just, I'm looking at that cat. And we're out. Um, yeah, subscribe.